Hey guys, so this is no less than revolutionary to me. You can now download a video or music from your favorite stock footage or stock music provider directly into your iPhone. Okay, not quite, but more directly than it was possible before. I still use Premiere Pro for professional editing. But if you're like me who learned to love to edit on an iPhone or iPad, you know how cumbersome it's been ever since to get your media files into your iPhone. Yeah, I'm talking about Apple's closed ecosystem. However, there is a new feature in iOS 13 that I discovered by chance while preparing a video about an editing app, which is by the way one of my next videos. Remember the times when the only way to get your files over to iPhone was via iTunes and you had to download them via PC or MacBook before? That contradicted the initial idea to do everything on a mobile device on the go and I guess you don't always have a PC with you while lying on the beach. Media files handling got better with the introduction of the files folder in conjunction with iCloud. And it was a little breakthrough for me when you could download your media files with the help of third-party cloud apps like Dropbox. With iOS 13, the ability to download a music or video into iCloud is a native feature from now on. And here we go. So this is one of my favorite stock music sites where I get the most of my vlog music. I pick a song and download it. Then the question pops up if I want to download or view it. So I tap on download and the music file starts to download. When I tap on the download symbol on the upper right and tap on the magnifier search icon of the recently downloaded song, it redirects me directly to the download folder of the iCloud drive. Alternatively, you can go via the files folder to get to the iCloud download folder which is the slower way. Next, you can tap and hold on the file, a menu pops up, and depending which video editor you use, you can share the file to your favorite video editor. It works in LumaFusion, VideoLeap, and InShot, and probably in other video apps too. The same goes for video files. Perfect. And depending on the video editor, you can see in which folder the files were shared into. Some apps like the Nizo Video Editor have even a known iCloud folder. And in this case, you would move the file to the respective folder. So this is it. You can skip some steps compared to the Dropbox method where you needed some more tabs to get your files into your iPhone. And when you save tons of videos and music repeatedly, it will be a time saver for you. For me, this update is a huge leap for creativity on Apple mobile devices. And as creatives, we know how creative exchange is so important to us. It's been a mystery why Apple, which devices stands for creative tools, has been so reluctant about media files exchange. But now it's really exciting to see where Apple is heading to. And it's a further step to do a complete professional video production with just your mobile device. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Hey, I'm Michael. I'm from Bavaria, Germany. See you in Bavaria or somewhere else.